and combat troops have returned to East Timor. In the hills where Indonesian soldiers once hunted Fretilin guerrillas, Australian troops are tracking down a self-styled freedom fighter. So far, without success. We have to obviously locate him. And, uh, we're working very hard to do that. The nature of the terrain is it's very rugged, uh, but we have got uh, very well trained, very well equipped and very well led uh, soldiers involved in the operations and I've got great confidence in them. We took a different route, making contact with supporters of East Timor's most wanted man. For two days we followed them through rivers and rainforest, constantly evading Australian surveillance as they led us towards his jungle hideouts. Australian space there. Yeah, just right there. Finally, a coded telephone call led us down a mountain road where Alfredo Renardo emerged from the darkness, wearing an Australian Army uniform as camouflage. Have they been pretty close the last few days? We were always close. Mm -hmm. Always. Yeah. Not far away. But you're still getting away. Yeah. Renardo was once commander of East Timor's military police. Now he and his men move camp every night to escape capture. They've been on the run since March 4th when Australian troops attacked his base in the town of Same, killing five people. He and his surviving men escaped into the jungle, vowing to never surrender. No, I don't ever have a word of surrendering. I was surrendering to the justice, not to anybody, not to any command, or any, not to any force. If Australian soldiers do surround you again, will you shoot at them? Will you defend yourself rather than surrender? I never want to shoot any Australian. You did fire at them the other night. I defend myself because they are firing at us first. The story of how a respected commander turned into a fugitive begins in the mayhem that rocked East Timor last year. Security forces shot dead anti-government protesters triggering a wave of riots and social turmoil. Major Renardo blamed the threat from their government, accusing it of plotting to create a dictatorship. After he fought with rival troops, he was charged with murder. I'm as a military, I have to take sides. I have to get out there to stop them and to defend the people, because this institution belong to the people, stand up to defend the people, not to kill the people. So I, as a military, I, I stand up to stop my institution to take more further action to kill more people. You say I'm wrong. Reynardo and his men escaped from prison, arguing they would never receive a fair trial from Fretlin. They lived openly in towns outside the capital, Dili, even meeting with Australian soldiers, as he negotiated conditions under which he would turn himself in. Alfredo Renato did battle with the military last year. Ina Bradridge, a long-time friend of Renato and an advisor to President Janana Guzmao, was the go-between. He's gentle. He loves nature. He loves his people. He loves fishing. That's his favourite. Um, very nice man. Uh, it's different. I mean, compared to Timur's man, yeah, he got eager, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's very different. Um, he loves his people too much, our people too much. Janana Guzmao has been strongly critical of the Fretland led government. But he says his patience with Reynardo ran out last month after he seized automatic weapons from a border post. He crossed the limit that uh, a state can, uh, can permit. Reynardo insists the border police gave him the weapons because of fears Fretland was illegally arming its supporters ahead of this year's elections. We just few guys go out and ask and they give me more than uh, we wanted to. It's more right for me to have this weapon to defend the people 
rather than to give it to, give it to the political party to defend the party interests. How can a soldier, a military man, uh, living outside the institution, go to a police post and borrow the weapons? The weapons. If he went there to borrow some food for them, to borrow some pencil to write his, his, um, his plea or something, but borrow the weapons. What for? This is uh, uh, something that we, 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 we cannot accept. Well, want to head over to Victory as per normal and, uh, head down the government down. turned to the Australian-led International Stabilisation Force to act. Australian troops have been here since May trying to provide security in the wake of the riots. They've now been reinforced with SAS troops to hunt down Reynardo. Many have questioned the president's support for using foreign troops against one of their own. The man is always fair, Shanana. is always fair of any decision he made, anything. Um, but this time, I don't know what, what, why make, make him make the decision like this. And it's just really a surprise for the people. I mean, people is quite shocked. <laughs> Ina Bradridge joined us on our trek with Reynardo's men. At each stop, we were fed and sheltered by local villagers. So that's how Alfredo can stay out of the bush. Yeah, that's how Shanana stay up in the bush for many years, 25 years, fight with Indonesia. And that's how I stay alive. That's how, how everyone stay alive. Like, if you fight for, for the people and stuff, and with the community and the church behind this, no way, no way, even Australia can win us, I promise you. And he doesn't have uh, access to uh, the support that he once had. The Australian commander insists most people support the move against Reynardo. Uh, he was operating in a large armed group and uh, denying the people of Same uh, their freedom and their rights and we've uh, stopped him doing that. Uh, we've given back the people of Same their freedom. But around Same, there were clear signs of anger. Australia's actions since the March 4th attack have also lost hearts and minds. A few nights later, the Australian military came to this village searching for Renato. Two Black Hawk helicopters landed at 10pm, blowing off roofs and walls and destroying their crop field. Then, according to the villagers, soldiers abused and mishandled them in ways they had never experienced under the Indonesian military. Tropasira Australia me halo at liu nene, kono ba uma, kono ba tos, tos, o mal jogan turi cerna be makia, sere malana sira kesi, latam barai sira sama, kusira bakang. Sira sira kat meeting, emine kio sira kena bakuram tia, pepe ra, katuas puk mutin liu, keto to, haru katuo ga, keto manu, sira halo at liu, at liu indonesia dal sana, indonesia dian dian, indonesia dia, porta australia anus me malad iak punik dia. These men were bound with cord and interrogated. Our soldiers are uh, highly trained. Uh, they've been conducting their operations in a very professional manner and they have a great deal of um, understanding of the need for sensitivity and, and respect for uh, civilians uh, when they're conducting their operations. Good to see you again. The sad irony is that Reynardo was once seen as a friend of the Australian military. He trained in Australia and his wife and children still live there. The government will responsible. I don't believe this people of Australia order this. And if they are people of Australia loss of a loved one, you ask your government, whoever order. We never want to harm anyone of them. But we have a right to protect ourselves. Black Hawk helicopters are continuing to scour the hills as he and his men continue to evade them. Hopes for peace appear as elusive as Renato himself.